check this out. You remember that moment? The outgoing mayor of Memphis leaves his mark on the city and City Hall itself. Inside the Hall of Mayors, Jim Strickland's official portrait was unveiled during a ceremony. Glenda Brown is the local artist who painted Mayor Strickland. And this morning she is here on Live at 9 to tell us about everything that went into this. Thanks so much for coming in. Hey. I love it. We have we have your stuff. Have, we have, have things a bit here. All the things. Okay, so how do you get chosen to paint the mayor? How did you get chosen? Melanie Strickland had a friend. That's his wife. That, it, uh, we all um, know this. Yeah. That recommended me. And usually I paint I painted her friend's portrait. So it's like several years ago of her little boy. Majority of what I do is children. But I do a variety. I do adults. I do just painting paintings. I work with galleries, a couple of galleries, and then with Portraits Inc. I'm an exclusive artist at Portraits Inc. But it was Melanie Strickland that contacted me, and I turned her over to Portraits Inc. And then we went from there, and I have a representative. Well, that Excuse Elizabeth me. Francis that came in and she's pretty much was every step of the way with Melanie too and they came out to my studio and we just had a great time and he was so much fun to work with his and, personality yeah he has a very quick wit you know I mean he's an attorney and then he's also has per, he has that personality and it's it's a warmth yeah so yes. I think that's how he won right yes <laughs> um, how long did it take and, and so what happens you when you're working on somebody because I know other people um, obviously commission these so they come in they sit with you you get to know who they are uh, talk about that process and the kinds of materials well, you use I went to I went to his office and I used my camera and my lights and set up and it took a couple of sessions to be able to um, to get exactly what we were looking for and he he started out with the gray suit and then he went with the blue suit. Oh that's good. Uh -huh. And then um, I take it home and start working on it but it we started in June. These take a long time and I bumped him up before some of the others so that I could have this deadline finished. Yeah, because he has an eight-year term and then, and so when did it actually go up in the Hall of Mayors? It went the 15th last Friday. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you specialize in creating portraits, but you work uh, in other art forms. I saw that butterfly, so, you know, and also Butterflies, different. Um, in Caustic, I worked with Gallery 202 in Franklin, Tennessee, oh. and then Beverly McNeil's Gallery in Birmingham. Okay, and I saw there there can be different backgrounds like copper and can you let's talk about the materials. All right, with the copper, I started out forever just working with canvas and different mediums, and I work with on um, doing charcoal. But with the with the canvas, this is linen. It's not oh. it's not anything that's and, um. And what's this? This, this is this I is mean, this. This is a commission that's still in progress. Oh wow. Oh. And this is this is painted on copper. And <gasps> see that's why it's so heavy. It's oh heavy my goodness. It, it's not framed and like I said this is still in the process. I'll go around and I'll sand the edges mm -hmm. so that the copper peeks through. But because it's flat, mm -hmm. it it has a way of just kind of glowing right. a little more. Oh, okay, gotcha. And it's probably more expensive, Cheryl. <laughs> well, no, I keep the oh, prices the same. Oh, good for and you. And I still work on the linen. Well, we, we have, we ran out of time, but any big project that you're working on real fast as we put your information on this screen. Just about six children right now. <laughs> Wow, that means that you're going to have to wait until well into 2024, but I'm sure people can call you. Yes. <laughs> this is fascinating. I'm a wannabe, so thank you for thank <laughs> letting a wannabe artist uh, hear some of your insights. <laughs> Thanks, Glenda Brown. Thank